Oh, it's so cool. Wow, look at these mushrooms, you guys. So remember, the devil is a liar. Would you look at that? <gasps> Mr. Beetle. Oh God, no, no. Hey everybody, how you doing? Will here. And Otter. Will and Otter. Together we make up Will Brown Art. We're traveling artists, YouTubers, rock hounders, and so much more. Today we're taking off into the wild on a real quest, a quest of quest, an adventure if you will, to a spot in Washington, to then Mount Baker National Forest, where we've heard that in Swift Creek, in that area, there happens to be some blue agates that are highly sought after, that are beautiful and gorgeous, that are magnificent, that can really make your day. I want my day made. And I want your day made. So let's take off and see what we can find on this epic quest. Appreciate you guys joining me today. Got everything packed up and let's go. Bye. All right guys, so we're pretty deep out here now. I'm actually gonna go to the Swift Creek campground real fast and just take a look at it if it's open. I don't know if it's open right now, but if it is, I'll give you guys a look at it as well. Um, I do want to come out here and go camping at some of these other campgrounds I have never been to before So it's a great time just to be able to check that out and then Swift Creek runs Next to it for the most part like right in that area of, of the campground uh, So we're gonna explore real fast and see All right, as you guys can see the campground is still closed So if you come out here like oh, I'm gonna go camping there make sure you look it up online because it's closed. All right, guys, I think I found the start of Swift Creek, which it looks like a big ass river. And that's okay because uh, some of the other videos and pictures that I saw, it looked like it was a bigger river, not a small creek. Um, but I'm not entirely 100% sure, just simply because my cell phone service does not work out here. I'm T-Mobile, so if you have T-Mobile, remember that. Might be good to take a screenshot of the names of the creeks and on like a GPS scenario ahead of time so you know exactly which one is Swift Creek. I know there's other spots where you can come out here and uh, meet up with Swift Creek, but I'm just gonna go to the one that's closest to Baker Lake and then start working from there. So let me give you guys a few shots of what I am assuming is Swift Creek. Right, guys so we're hiking along the river right now trying to get to an area where the average bear's not gonna go you know what I mean the average family is like oh let's go to Swift Creek are probably not gonna go through here and pick out all this so that's our goal right now look at all these conks you guys growing on this tree awesome I love it out here it's beautiful through the forest we go Sweet shiitake mushrooms. Look how this goes down here. Um, maybe I'll go around here and see if there's an easier way to get down right over there. Just because there's a bunch of this devil's club and it has thorns all over it. And I got people with me, so need to be careful which way I choose to go. A lot of devil's club through here, too. In case you don't know what that is, it's just this crazy ass plant and it's got thorns all over it straight demonic this is what the devil grows in his backyard apparently so watch out for the the club of the devil here's some big ones over here i'll show you guys so it's like something you don't want to grab a hold of look at these old trees oh so beautiful okay we're gonna keep going guys all right, we made it to a little creek that meets the big creek and becomes a river and then a lake. Yes, 
I see the shore, Otter. We are nearly through the club of the devil. <gasps> oh my gosh, yes. A beautiful shore for us to walk. Some neat stuff in here, like, I wanna look at this real fast. Give you guys an idea of what kind of interesting rocks and minerals are inhabiting these, these areas. Splash. My buddy Dwayne there and his girl, Otter, barking. Hey, you calm down, young man. You calm down right now. You are okay. I don't want you running off. Nope. I think we're getting closer. It's definitely not it, but I'd love to find a piece like that with blue going all through it. We'll see you guys. I don't know how picked through this section of the river is, so we're gonna head up some more and try to find an area where not a lot of people come through. But the truth of the matter is rivers are always changing. So, you know, new stuff is being revealed all the time. So we're gonna keep going. Look how cool some of these rocks are, you guys. Oh, it's so cool. Really beautiful. guys so we found some it's not like super blue and it's got some imperfections and it's very small but that's the first little piece here and that looks nice I like that all right I'm gonna keep looking check this out you guys it's found a bunch of it really beautiful running right through here runs through here too around this side and right there really strong really beautiful stuff so what we're trying to do is identify with the little pieces the host rock that it likes to be found in and then start looking at the bigger ones that's what I did with this to find this I found the little pieces in the gravel these little chunks like this then I identified the host rock and now I'm checking the bigger rocks that have this same look to them. And I just found a nice big chunk here. So hopefully we'll find some really good stuff soon. So keep looking. All right, you guys, so this rock right here, I just fished out and it's really stained up. It's got like this weird algae stuff on it, but it looks like it's got some kind of bluish color right here that runs around. So I'm gonna hit this with my four pound sludge. Looks like there's a little bit of red color right there too. And just open this up and see what's in here. Let's check it out. Yeah, I don't think there's anything really special in this one, but I wanted to break it open and kind of just investigate see how stuff forms what's going on there and definitely some cool pyrite that was running through there uh, in the center but uh, nothing worth harvesting so I'm gonna keep looking around all right guys so I'm gonna break this one open too this one should be a lot easier it looks like there's some blue running through here and we'll see we'll see how vibrant it is if it's any good but Let's go ahead and smash this one open and take a look at the color in there. Yeah, I mean, it's in there, but it doesn't have good color. Nothing worth harvesting. It's not very thick. 
It's still pretty, it's still neat, but not interested. Keep moving, see what else we can find. Check out this, guys. I don't know how well the camera's picking this up, but this is all pyrite running through here, fool's gold, going all the way around on this big chunk. Really beautiful. All this side, all of that right there, see how shiny that is? Just a ton of fool's, fool's gold. So I'll probably leave this here and then come back when I'm walking back and snag this piece up too. So I'd love to see this when it's dry and um, a lot of the sludge and stuff has been uh, cleaned off. That could just be a really pretty one for like my mom's garden. But you can just see all of it right there. That's really cool, beautiful stuff. So there's some definitely some cool pyrite in here also. Oh, look at Otter go. Oh, he's digging the china. Get it, Otter. <laughs> Do you know what it is? I have um, a beef jerky wrapper in there or something. Uh, and he's like, son of a bitch, I need it. <laughs> Where's the beef? I, know. I smell meat! Otter. Otter. Hey, it's just pointless, bro. He said, don't tell me that. I'm a dreamer. Let me dream. All right, you guys, so we spent some time here and we got a whole bunch of little pieces. I found a bigger piece that's kind of going through a rock that when I showed you guys, but we're not finding anything really significant, some more pyrite, that kind of stuff. So we're gonna head up river a little bit more and just investigate and see if there's any open shores like this. Maybe some areas that are a little bit more difficult to get to, a little bit more dangerous, which will hopefully uh, reap some uh, rewards, some fruits in regards to finding some bigger chunks. So that's what I wanna find for you guys today is like one big, gnarly, beautiful chunk. Hopefully we can find that. Otter's ready to go. Otter, stop chewing up my bag, bro. Got Otter perched as I walk through this forest of devil's club. Oh man, it's crazy out here. It's dense, you guys. Freaking dense. Surrounded by the devil. I'm going to steal the devil's treasure. We can make it, Otter. We can't be stopped this day. This day we will prevail. Screw the devil. The devil is a liar. And his damn club. Oh man. We're on a crazy ass animal trail now. How are we supposed to get through this? <laughs> I was clubbed. Clubbed by the devil himself. Freaking devil. <laughs> Unacceptable. Ah. There's Otter. There he is in all of his glory. Come on, Otter, this way. This is the price you pay for cool rocks and minerals. You must face the devil. I'm tired today, you guys. I had a rough night, let me tell you about it. So there I was, feeling emotional. No ice cream, no chocolate to comfort my hurting heart, my aching soul. Just me and my dog, alone in the tiny home, thinking of times past. Ah, memories. Sleep availed me that night. Ah. As my mind raced with questions, thoughts, ideas. Who am I? Why am I here? What is life? Ah. Oh. You know, the important stuff. I don't know what I'm really talking about. I think I'm intoxicated with the scent of the Devil's Club. Apparently it has a scent. Something out here has a scent. Oh my gosh. Otter, we must prevail. Remember me if I die, bro. Think of me fondly. Think of me fondly every once in a while. All right. All right, we're doing pretty good, bro. How's everybody else doing, though? Damn, they're still back there in the devil's dungeon. Devil is the dungeon master. Damn, man. I feel powerful with this tripod out here. Looks like a first-person shooter, you know? All right, I'm a grown-ass man out here pretending my tripod is a freaking 
laser gun. Screaming the devil is a liar. Good thing there's not a lot of people in the woods. Just bears and deers and pigeons. Wild mountain pigeons. I'm pretty sure when the coronavirus hit and all the streets were emptied, no more popcorn, no more hot pretzels for the pigeons to feast on, I'm pretty sure they migrated out here into the wild. This is what happened, you guys. It's not fictional, it's true. And I know this, I know it deep down in my gut. So take my advice for my wisdom is sound and my logic is true. Oh, right. I might fall on my face. Oh, look at you go, bro. Look at you go, Mr. Melon. So tough you are. I know you're stronger than this otter. You were forged in the fires of Mordor. You're, <laughs> you're the chosen, you're the one ring, bro. Come on. You got this. Use the Chihuahua powers. It's good boy, Otter. Look at you. Well done. Okay. <laughs> ah. Fly and be free. <gasps> Mr. Beetle. Mr. Beetle himself. Let's move on. Oh, look at the mushrooms. <gasps> I mean, <clears throat> wow, look at these mushrooms, you guys. Dopeness. Deep in the forest, at the base of this tree, lives a family of beautiful little flowers. Look at that. Just look at it. Would you look at that? Absolutely beautiful. Whew. I am surrounded, hemmed in, on all angles here by wild brush. We're making it, guys. We're making it. All right, we busted out of the woods. And we're really not seeing any good significant beaches. There's a little one over there on that side, but there is some big boulders and rocks right here. So it might be good to come right there and check that little landslide since we came all this way. But fierce river for sure. It would be nice to come here when the water has receded down a little bit and isn't as high. Very beautiful though, you guys. This forest is dense, very dense. Chocolate shake, dipping your fries in there. All right, right here, guys. See where my feet are at? No one has come here, I'm pretty damn sure. And you can see how this is all fallen apart and eroded. So if I can find a way to get down here and look at all these stones, that might be a good thing. But first I need to get my buddy to be able to help watch Otter and uh, maybe even set up the camera so it records me going down. But I, I'm pretty sure I can use this stuff as little ropes like this and kind of just shimmy on down. We'll see. Let me look around. All right. Good luck. Please be careful. this out. Let's investigate, shall we? Here we go. Look at this. Probably no one's ever been in this or seen this. And that's what I'm looking for. That's scary though, that boulder right there, if that fell on me, that would be bad news bears. Bad news, yo. Come on, where are you at, Blue Agate? I know you're in here, brah. Well, 
Oh shoot! Will's gonna try to do this all on his own. Guys, look at Otter. He was so worried about me. You now he's like <laughs> kissing me and nuzzling me and snuggling me. I'm all right, buddy. Thanks for trying to protect me. Good boy, Otter. Good boy. Oh, oh, I see you. Oh, I see you. <gasps> Come home. Come home. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. He's a cute dog. All right, so we're gonna head back to that big beach we saw at the front, you guys, and check that out. Hopefully we'll find that perfect piece there because going up this river, it's just, it's crazy. The brush is so thick and it's just too much right now. So we're gonna head back to that other area we haven't checked out on the other side of the bridge. Let's go. Found a little patch of what looks like older oyster mushrooms. Some right here too. These ones look A little bit better. This one looks good. See if there's a bunch that look like that. That's when I would pick them. See that looks young and delicious and amazing. All right, we're currently underneath the bridge right now and we are going to go down onto this side and with what little light I have left, try to find a glorious piece for you guys. But um, so far we just found some decent stuff, but I really want a big, beautiful chunk to show off. So I'm hoping and praying that we run into something magnificent. What do we have here? A tiger rock. See the stripes on it? Gotta watch out for those tiger rocks. They're deadly. They got sharp claws and fangs. And they're ruthless. Relentless. And fierce. Right, Otter? I'm assuming this part has been picked out more than upstream where I was before. But... You never know, you never know. So now this is what I gotta do, is I gotta ask myself the question, do I cross here, which I'm pretty sure I can walk right across there to get to that section with my boots right through here, I bet you I could. But honestly, the sun's going down. It's really late in the evening and I don't think it's a good idea right now. Otter's pretty exhausted and so am I. There's plenty of rocks along here for me to look at too. So I'm just gonna hunt here for a minute and I'll come back here another day and do that. Let's look at that a little bit more. Oh. 
Well, you guys, I just want to thank you for joining me today on Will Brown Art. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and lots more adventure videos coming out. I built a tiny home, an art van, I'm a traveling artist and a poet and rock hounder, just adventurer in general, and a lot of content coming up and coming out, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. Please check out my children's books and my Patreons, link to that in the description below. Thanks so much for all my patrons that have stood next to me during the COVID-19 season where work and employment got shut down. I appreciate you guys and all your love and I am excited. Come on, buddy. And I'm excited for all the wonderful things to come uh, due to your guys' faithfulness and giving and you guys just helping me open doors financially um, for me to create. So thank you so much. And I appreciate it, you guys. Today was good. I found some cool pieces, some good pieces. It's definitely here. But my advice to anybody that's coming out here is to go further upstream. There's, it looks like there's a road that goes along Swift Creek and then it kind of connects to it at certain points way upstream. I think that's probably where you'd have to go and then go where a lot of people don't go. There's a campground right here. A bunch of tons of people walk this section. And also to wait for the water to be a little bit lower and uh, that might help you um, find some more of the treasure. But either way, it's a good, good area to come and to find some really beautiful stuff. And if you found some big chunks of that blue agate, that would be amazing. There is some beautiful color in that and you could make some amazing art and jewelry and stuff out of that. So thanks so much for joining me today, you guys. I'll see you next time on Will Brown Art. I'm gonna get the heck out of here and eat some food. Ooh.